Hey you guys, so today is my 23rd birthday and I thought the best way to celebrate that on here would be to show y'all how I got this bomb cute look and just talk to y'all. So keep watching this chit chat, get ready with me just to see how I achieve this look and you know how my year went. Okay, y'all, so if y'all are watching this on December 5th on Saturday, then it's my birthday, okay? I am 23 years old today, so why not celebrate the day by beating my face for y'all? So I'm going to do a chit chat get ready with me. Chit chat get ready with me on my birthday are kind of like an annual thing. I didn't do it last year, but I did it the two years before. So 2017, 2018. I don't think I did one in 2019, but it's 2020. It's been a heck of a year and it's a new year of life for me. So why not, you know, celebrate it by beating my face. I did not pre-plug my eyebrows or pre-do anything to my eyebrows, but you know, my face is clean. I'm finna, I'm gonna just kind of speed through my eyebrows without trying to talk. Uh, and I might cut some out, you know, anybody got time for that, but I'll be back when I get ready to do my foundation. So stay tuned. Okay, y'all, so I am 23 years old today. Uh, I know it looked like I put like the wrong shade of foundation on. Uh, I did put a little bit too much on of that light shade, but I'm trying to do like a light look today. I'm not trying to beat my face completely, like not a, not a full coverage beat. Sorry for not talking. I had to do that really quick. I'm about to put one more layer of this. Yeah, Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Smooth. I'll put some more of this in the 322 Warm Honey shade. Just because, I don't know, just a little bit. It's dewy, so I'll be fine. Just like two dots on each cheek. I love the way this foundation looks. Like, seriously, it looks so good. And I'm gonna looks really good uh the what brand is this 
this L'Oreal True Match shade. I've been using that more of a, like a concealer shade lately. I bought it for a foundation because in the store it was a perfect match. But in real life, it wasn't. It's a little too light. It's the right undertone, but it's just too light. I'm a, I'm a brown girl, so that didn't work. <laughs> I don't really know what I want to talk about. Uh, I will say this year, 2020 period, has been an interesting year. Uh, you know, with the pandemic and all, a whole lot, a whole lot. of It's just been a lot. Mentally, I don't know. It's just been a long year for me personally. This was not my best year. And I don't know if it wasn't my best because of the pandemic, because of life. Um, I don't know. I got more accomplished at the age of 21 going to 20. No, yeah, 21 going to 22 than I did 23 going, 22 going into 23, if that makes sense. Like, that year I got more accomplished than I did this year. All I did this year is literally just finish prerequisites. And I don't even know if I want to major in that anymore. So that was a waste of time. Um, and my mental health, mental stability has been up and down all year up and down all year like it's been uh, a hell of a year so that's that so this is the l'oreal true match in the shade uh neutral true it's a neutral shade true beige m5 uh so y'all want to use me as a color reference i heard a girl say that uh, that's the shade I use for this, but I'm using this for concealer because it's light, like it's lightweight. And yeah, I don't know if you're supposed to use like a foundation stick as concealer, but I do. I mean, foundation as concealer, but I do. So yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm blending, blending it out with this right here, this type of brush. I will say, the biggest tip I have when you're doing your makeup is use brushes. Like I used to just use a beauty blender, and I got a big face, so it used to take me so long to do my makeup every time. I'm like, why does it take so long? It's because I was using a beauty blender. So, I recommend switching to brushes for the face if you have not already. Yeah, that's pretty. And then I'll... will say I think I've learned a little bit about myself this year in just general like I don't know if I can say I've learned about myself before like I feel like I know myself differently than I once knew myself because it's had been such a trying year so that's that I can definitely say I know myself differently now like I'm not the person I thought I was I don't even know what person I thought I was, to be honest. But I'm definitely not there anymore. I got a little bit left on my hand, so I'm going to just, like, put some more on. But you see that matched my hand perfectly. It's just a little too light for my face, I think. So. See, it's like a good concealer shade. And I'm only applying more because I have so much more left on my hand. Otherwise, I wouldn't. And I do love using such a dewy type of thing for concealer because concealer I feel like my under eye be dry so that's good I guess but yeah I can say that I know certain things like as to what I will and not will and will not deal with just from like a human standpoint you know I don't know like I just know what I find attractive I would say like 
and just a, any human. Like, that's an attractive trait you have, if that makes sense, whether you're interested in them or not. Like, even with family, like, I like, I know what I will and what I will not deal with, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Because, you know, I know what I find attractive in people. Not attractive, again, like, in a relationship way or, like, that type of way, but just, like, in a human way. Like, you bond with people based off of the qualities in them that you like, which is qualities that you find attractive. And I just know what, I don't completely know myself. I don't completely know the answer to that, but I do know I'm starting with something. And I do kind of feel hopeful that next year will be different. Um, next year, as in 2021, and my next year of life. So, yeah. I do feel that way. I do feel like I'm a little bit more wise than I was last year. Not that I was dumb or anything, because I definitely was not. But I do feel, in general, I just feel more wise than I once, than I was. I've noticed changes within myself. I'm not a perfect person at all, and I have not grown the amount of growth that I need to grow. Like, I am such a long way to go, because I'm not the best person like i'm not the best me i can be and i know that for a fact so now i'm going in with a beauty blender to just like do the edges or something i don't know okay that's that i don't know if i want to set my face do i want to set it i don't know i do use this air spun loose face powder to set my face this is in the color new naturally neutral i feel like i need a, a darker shade but that's what it looks like right there i'm going in with a different sponge and basically i just put as much on the sponge as i can and i tap off the excess on my hand like that i don't like a lot and then i just press it into my face So for my chin, forehead, nose, and upper lip, I used the extra that was on my hand. I look very flawless on this camera. I will say, I, I won't have this video up by the time uh, this video goes up. The video I'm about to reference, I'm gonna have it up by the time this goes up. Because while I'm filming it, I don't have my phone. I am expecting a new phone. So I have been editing like crazy. So I'm gonna have a video up on Thursday, which is two days before this video, that will be up that I'm filming right after this one because I want like an up to date video. I want to do like a where have I been video because if you are subscribed to me and you try to keep up with me, I don't know who I'll do, but if you do, I haven't posted in almost two months, haven't been on Instagram in over a month, so that's kind of that's that pretty much, but you know, that's okay. Oh, basically, what I'm trying to say, I'm gonna film a life update video or like where have I been and where has my mental space been I'm gonna film that later it's almost two o'clock so I'm gonna film that when I get back home but yeah but going back to what I was saying the video that won't be up by the time I upload this is a phone unboxing I'm supposed to be getting the iPhone the new iPhone uh, and I want to do like a unboxing and first impressions of it. So I'm like super excited for that. So I feel like I did a bunch of rambling. But the whole point of everything I just said was I have been editing like crazy trying to, because I haven't uploaded in two months. I've been editing like crazy trying to get my last little bit of videos that I have recorded on here up on YouTube so they just don't go to waste. Because just because I wasn't uploading, I was still recording here and there and I hit so many videos post. So I've been editing like crazy getting those uploaded. So after today's video and Thursday's video, which is, you know, the one before this one, I'm going to have videos up on all of my upload schedule days. I'm not even going to attempt to do Vlogmas this year. I tried to do it last year. It didn't work out between school, life, all that. So I ain't even going to try this year. But I am going to try to stick to my upload schedule all this month. So, yeah, hopefully I get to 300 subscribers by the end of the year. But, you know, I hope all that made sense. I did a whole lot of talking, but... Yeah, but if you understand basically what I was just saying was I'm getting a new phone and I finished editing all the videos that was on this phone pretty much. But just stay tuned for that video.
I feel like I look pretty. Now I'm about to do bronzer. Bronzer. I use this Milani bronzer in the color Suntan. It's the silky matte formula. My cousin got this for me. So thank you, Toya, if you see this video. Thank you, girl. All of my makeup, y'all, she has gotten me. So that is one thing that I can definitely say. I'm gonna use this fluffy brush. And because I didn't even own any bronzers before this. Well, I own one, but you know. And since I put like such a light layer of foundation on, you can definitely still see the rosiness of my cheeks under. So that's good. Don't make any commentary about how I'm applying this. I know it's not being applied right. This is how I do it. I won't do a whole beat like I thought I was gonna do. I didn't think I was gonna do like a full coverage beat, but I thought I would do like a small eye look, but I gotta be done with this video in like 10 minutes, so. And I wasn't gonna pattern my face, but since I gotta leave and pick up my sister from school, I think I'm gonna pattern my face, just so I won't be like oily or crazy, some crazy when I come back home. I don't even know, cause I'm happy with how my face is looking. Okay, so for the eyes, I don't know what I'm doing for the eyes. All right, so I'm gonna do, this is um, the Colored Rain Pally, um, or Color Rain brand. This is the Vineyard so so Ray palette. This is another little palette my cousin gave me, but I'm gonna do this dark, like pink color right here, and then I'm gonna put that on my lid real quick. Uh, so yeah. But how how are y'all? How have y'all been? I have not did like a chit chat get ready with me in so long, like so long, y'all. All right. Also gave me this Ulta Beauty New Hue Shadow Switching Pan, and you just like clean the brush. So, I haven't washed my brushes in a while, so I'm just, oop, that thing fell out, but just do that, make sure it's clean or whatever. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade, and hopefully it looks good. I'm like going right in, so. I have never used this palette before, so I don't even know what to expect. This is not fluffy enough. I'm switching to this brush. I don't, I never told y'all, I don't think, but on my Instagram, I showed y'all on my Instagram story that about a year ago, maybe, I had ordered me some new brushes because I was really getting into my makeup. So I ordered me some new brushes so I could finally start, you know, finally start doing really good, you know, looks. Because I only had one eyeshadow brush. So every look I did was like a challenge because, of, you know, I only had one eyeshadow, eyeshadow brush. So. Yeah, I like this. This is cute. A little shimmer in it. Right there, but yeah. So for the lids, I'm literally going to take my finger and go right in with this shade, as you see. And let's see. Ooh, that is pretty. This is pretty. That's so pretty. <laughs> my face oh that is so pretty oh my gosh that is beautiful wow I do have like a birthday shoots in my head planned if I do get my phone this week or regardless if I do or don't I do have like a birthday thing planned it's not gonna be fancy just like plain outfits we I think I'm going to like the lake by my house and taking some pictures um, because I want to, you know, upload some cute pictures to my birthday. You know, so if I do that, y'all will see. Or maybe not. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see. Because I think I'm posting on Instagram. So, I'm going to go in with this, this brush again. And let's 
just make sure. Oh no. Oh no, what I'm making sure. So it is so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna take a break and get ready to go get my sister. And I'm gonna come back and do my eyeshadow and do my lips. Uh so yeah, I'll be back in a few about an hour. Okay, y'all, so I don't know if you can tell, but it's been a couple of hours since I was last on here. Literally, it's been like over two hours, but I'm back, back home. I ate food. I picked up my sister, so that's that. So now we're just going to finish up my face. I'm going to do some mascara first. Uh, so this is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Uncensored. And I, if, I don't know if y'all remember, but I actually... Uh, I got this from a Vox box off Influencer, and I did like a unboxing of it, and I did a whole review. So hopefully I remember to link that down below. But yeah, that's that. So let me just apply that. So, something I like to do that you don't see people do because it's supposedly bad for your eyelashes is I like to curl them after I put on my mascara. And as I'm doing this, I got to tell y'all something. So, let me make sure I do this right. All right. Oop. All right. So, those my eyelashes, as y'all can see. I was just telling y'all earlier in this video how I was expecting to get my phone before my birthday turns out i'm not uh that's part of what i was doing while i was not recording my mom told me that they didn't have the phone in stock or something like that so i really won't be getting my phone until like the eighth which is crazy i thought i was gonna be able to have it before the eighth because i wanted to you know take good birthday pictures on it but you know but look at the difference y'all that is so pretty my eyes water every time i put on any thing on my eyelashes or like eyeliner so ignore that but ouch pinch my pen but yeah that is what it is won't be getting that iphone right now but i'll get it later so i guess that's good so y'all won't get the unboxing next week i don't think y'all be getting it the week after that if you care if you watch this whole video so here it is i'll do it the week after but I have videos up every day next week since I did all of this editing and uploading anyway. So that'll be up regardless, you know. Sorry, y'all. I gotta just, you know. That is so pretty. You can tell I missed a part of my eyelashes right, right here. But it's okay. That is so pretty. All right. I'm going to just touch up my eyeshadow really quickly. Lightly. Literally. Uh, literally ever so lightly. Uh, and just kind of go in right there. I don't think I'm going to do anything on under. I think that nakedness is like very cute. Um... What else? Oh, I gotta do bottom mascara. And this is really good for like lower lash mascara. It's really good. Okay. Okay, something that I do want to do is let me try something. That is pretty. That is so dang pretty. I can't believe I had that idea. Do y'all like that? My eyes are red. Hopefully they don't start watering. Okay, so now it's time for highlight, lips, and then I'm done. So, I'm actually, I do actually want to go in 
with. So I use this light color right here for my lower lash line and that's what I use for the shimmer on my eyelid if y'all don't remember. I want to go in with this light shade that I use on my lower lash line and put that on my inner corner. So let's see how that goes. Right there. That's pretty. All right. For highlighter, I'm going to just use what's in my bag. And that is this e.l.f. highlighter. I've literally had this for years. And to highlight with this, I actually just use this fan brush. If y'all can see, I probably won't be able to. Not like that. But my face is already so shimmery. I think you'll be able to see it on this side. See that? That's pretty. Now, I do I have to go in with just my finger like that and just kind of, you know, put it exactly where I want it. Right there. Dip it so lightly. For my lips, it's going to be a little complicated. So first things first, I'm going to go in and line my lips. This is just a lip and eyeliner that I got from my beauty supply store, my local beauty supply store. I don't know the brand. It done wiped off. Just go in and kind of line my lips. And I don't do it. Try to. I don't do it like super nicely or straight or anything. I just don't like to overline. So. So I want it ugly in my opinion. On me. I know y'all just said she don't like overlining, but she just overlined her cupid bow. That's like the only thing I like. Just that. So pretty. It gives a look more mature look, you know. And now I'm gonna want a couple of different products. So this is the Dose of Colors lipstick in the color Play It Cool. See, that's ugly, ain't it? So, to help pinking, pinking that up, because I do want this to be more pink than it is this nude brown color. I'm going in with this uh, NYX or NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Canis or Canes. I don't really know how to say it. And this is just going to add the first layer of pink. And now I'm going in with this Avon True Color. It's a glazed water lip gloss and it's in the color. It don't say, but that's what it look like. Let me show y'all better. That, it's like shimmery. So this is gonna add, I don't know, a pinky pop. I don't know. It doesn't add the pink I want. I need something else. This is not giving me. I do not like this. This is just a gloss knob. I do not like this at all. But I think I think it's pink enough to just like fix it. If it's not, we're just gonna move on.
I don't know. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I don't know. We just going to move on. That's what we're going to do. Just move on. Okay, y'all, so I think I'm done. I don't know what more I could do. Uh, I don't know if I like my lip color. So I'm gonna just get y'all a close up. I'm not a model, y'all. I don't know how to be cute, so don't judge me. Okay, I don't know. So that's the look though. I think it looks really pretty. Let me take a picture or two of myself. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this look and for this video. Hopefully if you watched, you learned a makeup thing or two. Uh, hopefully, I don't know. I never know how to do chit chat, get ready with me's like right i would say because i don't think i have enough going on in my life to really carry on a conversation it's like you know so i just talk about what i talk about and i don't know if it's ever really enough if you know what i mean hopefully it was today though so please if like just any critiques in that department comment that down below i would really love like a critique or you know what i can improve or suggestions anything in that department because whenever i do these i just don't know what to talk about to talk about so yeah but yeah that's pretty much it again for this video so if you liked this look and enjoyed this video please make sure to give me a big thumbs up comment down below share this video with a friend oh also going back comment down below because it's my birthday today as you're watching this it's my 23rd birthday so if you made it to the end of the video and you haven't commented happy birthday comment it but yeah going back share this video with a friend and subscribe to my channel we are getting so close to 300 i would love to hit it before the end of the year so please help me make that happen and i'm going to see you in my next video bye